I'm Stubby Mashed Potatoes. Welcome to LARPgasm. So, today we're going to cover the topic of <clears throat> staying in character. And uh, to a further point, how do you avoid all the out of game interactions when you're trying to catch up with your buddies that you haven't seen in a long time? Now, <clears throat> a lot of people especially in this hobby, don't get out of their house much. A lot of them are locked in their cellars doing God knows what to who knows what. So I understand a lot of you people don't get out too often. So when you do get out, you want to socialize, get to know people. You also want to talk about things that you've done between events. And that's fine. <clears throat> but um, there's a time and place for that, and it's not here in-game. A lot of people pay a lot of money to come play a game to escape reality. So they don't want to be constantly reminded about this reality while they're here. So even though you may not have seen your friends Moonbender and Zelda for a month, that doesn't mean as soon as you get in game that you'll start talking to them about the new Avengers movie uh, or Scarlett Johansson's tits or what you do in World of Warcraft or something like that. You're going to be in game, okay? It's not that hard. Now, if you want to talk to them about all that stuff, that's fine. There's a good time and place to do that when you're at a LARP. But it's not in the middle of combat. It's not, well, someone's pitching you a module or an adventure. It's when you're at mealtime. Now, if you don't eat meals in game, that's fine. That's a great time to talk about this stuff when you're sitting down for dinner or if you leave the site. Great time. If you really want to talk to them, try carpooling. Um, you can drive here together. You can talk the whole way to your site, the whole way back home. That gives you plenty of time to get whatever's on your chest off of it. Now, another time, restroom. If you go into the restroom together, you don't need to be in character when you're taking a piss. So that's a great time to talk about this stuff. Um, also, you know, if there's downtime, I know not a lot of LARPs have stuff going on all the time. Fortunately, my LARP sometimes can be one of those where there's a lot of downtime. Now, I understand if you're in a game where there's a lot of stuff going on, there's action left and right, you got all kinds of factions and all kinds of shady dealings and underhanded things, there's probably lots of shit to talk about all the time. But if you're at a LARP where it's kind of dead, there's no economy, there's no real plot, people don't really run stuff, and you're just kind of hanging out, I understand that it can drag on. And it's really hard to talk about in-game stuff when there's nothing in-game to talk about. So, if you're at one of those type of LARPs, then it's inevitable that you're going to break character. Everyone's probably going to do it. So, the thing is, just make sure you don't devolve too much out of character so that when in-game stuff does start happening, you can jump right back into character and get right back on board. So don't plan on being out of character the whole time, just as long as you need to, to say whatever you need to say. Now something fun that I think works is that um, try to have your out-of-game conversations in character. So like right now, I'm kind of talking like stubby mashed potatoes would talk even though I'm recording a video for you guys, which makes no damn sense. Why am I still talking like this? Well, technically I'm in game right now. I mean, I got this castle behind me. Who knows who's inside there? I could get friggin' run down by, by knights or ogres or who the hell knows what. That's why I'm talking in character. Now, if I wanted to drop out a game, I'd just talk in my normal voice, which is pretty close anyways, but, um, you know, there's no reason to be like this. You can have the same conversations in character. Then that way, if something happens all of a sudden, someone jumps you from the bushes, your mindset is already in character, not out of character, even though your conversation may not have been. So, your stubby mashed potatoes wants to talk about that New Age Ultron movie and uh, how awesome the CGI wasn't, then this is the conversation I'd be having. If I want to talk like this and just talk about, you know, hey, I got this new car this weekend, you should check it out and see how fast it is. And, I mean, you're out of character, you're not paying attention, the whole facade is, is, is gone. So, these are just a couple of suggestions I would have. <clears throat> and always keep in mind that lead by example in everything that you do. If people see you being in character, staying in character, and if they happen to overhear you talking about, who knows what, you could be talking about your friend's cat or something, but if you're in character and they just catch a bit of that conversation, they might not know what the hell you're talking about, but they still think you're in character. And that's the beauty part of it. So always try to be in character, no matter what's happening. Lead by example. Draw other people up to you. Don't let them pull you down to them. Because it's real easy to get sucked into sidebar conversations. It's real easy to get pulled out of game. Don't let that happen. Pull these people up to your level. Yeah, you might get labeled like an elitist asshole or some sort of jerk off. And they may say that, oh, that guy, oh, he's always in game. Hey, 
yeah, you're always in game. That's like telling like a pro football player, it's like, man, you're always really good at this game. It's like, who gives a shit? You're supposed to be. So if people give you attitude about always being in character and playing well, I mean, that's their problem. If they think that's a problem, then they're the ones with the problem. So don't worry about anything they say. What it's going to do is it's going to force everyone to come up to your level. So try to be in character all the time, even when it's not easily able to be maintained. And uh, that's pretty much the best advice I can give you. If you have friends you don't see very often, man, Facebook them, Skype them, Twitter them, make YouTube videos, uh, send them an email, send them a postal mail, call them on the phone, text them, sex them, whatever you want to do. Just there's a time and place for all that stuff. It doesn't need to be here. We live in the future, not back in the past. We have plenty of outlets to be able to communicate. You don't need to waste time in game doing that stuff. So that's my little speech on that. Um, I fall out of character all the time, but you know what? I try to recover as quickly as possible. It happens. Even people that are going to get on here and preach to you about this like me, and eh, we break character. It happens. You know, it is what it is. You're walking, airplane goes over, something, I don't know. Someone says something or does something. It happens. <clears throat> the trick is, though, just try not to be a jerk off every time someone's talking with the, that's what she said, that's what she said. Unless it's your character. But if that's your character, then I better hear you saying that's what she said 20 times a day. Because if you're just saying it when other people are kind of talking, giving you adventures, yeah, that doesn't count. It needs to be your character. Now, um, you should be paying attention. When these people are talking, giving you these plot hooks, giving you these adventures, these modules, you need to be paying attention to what they say. This is what you've paid and spent all this time making all this crap for is about the adventure. I know it's fun, you sit around your tabletop, your GM's reading stuff out of a book, and maybe your group is like, oh, blah, blah, I remember blah, 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 that's what she said, that's what she said. Shut the hell up. Listen to the story. Maybe if you took time to involve yourself in the story and immerse yourself in the story, you would really get a deeper understanding of what role-playing is and what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Yes, it's about having fun, but if you want to just go make jag-off comments, you could go to a bar and just people watch and make jag-off comments. You could go just sit somewhere on a bench and not pay money to go there and not invest in a costume and not have people call you names and laugh at your hobby. And you could still do the same stuff with your friends. You could go sit in your basement, eat pizza, and watch a movie and heckle it. You don't have to come here to heckle people. Um, so just try to keep that in mind. Yeah, it's fun occasionally to do that, but when it happens every single time, it gets old. Just get tired of it. Just try at your next LARP, just one event, to try to really immerse yourself, be in character the whole time, and enjoy that for what it is. So it's more of a, I don't know, it's more of a, a high level enjoyment. It's more of a social enjoyment, like drinking a fine wine, um, you know, going out to an expensive restaurant, getting dressed up, you know, listening to classical music as opposed to just, you know, what's on the radio or what you want to listen to. It's more of a highbrow type of thing. And that's fine. That's entertaining too. It can be fun. Now, if that's not your idea of entertainment, then I mean, maybe you should end PC. That way you don't have to be in character all the time. I mean, Maybe you should not LARP. I don't know. Or find a LARP that really sucks. Maybe find one that doesn't have role-playing. There's plenty of LARPs that don't have role-playing. There's ones that are more or less just combat. They're out there. If that's all you're here for, that's cool. I ain't got no problem with that. It's just if you come to a real heavy, immersed, role-playing, heavy LARP, role-play. That's all. Just role-play. It's not that hard. You know, if you don't know what role playing is, I'll make a video for it. Um, and, and you're an idiot. I mean, <laughs> just look it up, man. I mean, have you ever seen a play or a movie? That's what those people are doing. They're playing a role. Role playing. Got it? It is not rocket science. Okay. Anyhow, if you like the video, click subscribe, click like, and uh, follow my channel. I got a lot more videos like this, a lot of uh, in depth tutorials I'm going to have, a lot of other good stuff to keep an eye on. Hopefully I'm entertaining. If nothing else, you laugh at my costumes and the poor craftsmanship, even though this took me tons of hours to make. You can call me a noob and tell me that my stuff sucks. <laughs> Whatever, I could care less. You know what? Because I'm here, you're there. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought, nothing. So click like, click subscribe, follow my channel, check out all the cool videos. You know, I have awesome sites I LARP at. There's all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, maybe you'll find something interesting. If nothing else, it'll be amusing to you. Watch this in the middle of winter, maybe when your LARP isn't happening. 
and uh, you know try to get some enjoyment out of it because that's what we're all here for right to have a good time I hope so anyways <clears throat> that's all I gotta say about that and uh, until next time adventure on do it just do it don't let your dreams be dreams yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it make your dreams come true just do it some people dream of success well you're going to wake up and work hard at it nothing is impossible you should get to the point where anyone else would quit but you're not going to stop there no what are you waiting for just do it just do it yes you can just do it if you're tired of starting over stop giving up click subscribe